The landscape at Idel is very pretty. I'm enjoying the day. I finally reached the top. First climb of the trail done. Oh my. I'm surprised to find snow on the top. I didn't expect it. It's cold. I start to wonder whether I took the right sleeping gear. Every now and then I stop to look at the beautiful views. need a quick break. It's sunset time. I can pitch my tent here, but all the water sources are bone dry. I keep going. Looking for water to set camp, I left behind the place where I could pitch. I now have no water and nowhere to camp. Besides, it's pitch black and freezing. I barely made it overnight. With nowhere to pitch, I had to cowboy camp. You're cowboy camping. 
Ja, 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 I've been filtering the water, but not always. I drink water from the tap in London as training. That should get me covered. Where do you camp here, man? It seems like uh, camping is super limited. Pitching spots are scarce. I have to plan very carefully or I'll end up freezing like the first night. For the most part, there is always someone around in this hike. Toilet breaks require planning ahead. <sighs> Last night's dinner feels great as today's lunch. I begin to realize what this hike is about. Up and down hills and styles while walking around sheep and people. 
not my cup of tea. I have inside Bronte's ruins. As a fan of Bronte's sister's work, I feel excited. First I found a place. I wondered who had lived there. What their lives were like. Something whispered to my mind. God. Can't live here that my life. I cannot live without my soul. I'm about to leave behind one of the coldest nights of the trail, yet I feel privileged I could sleep in those ruins.
After walking for an hour, I no longer need to wear the hard shell and other trousers. Getting sick is more tedious than filtering water, trust me. Fit maintenance. At this point, I'm oblivious to the ordeal I'm about to go through. After two hours sitting and freezing, I could finally pitch the tent and rest. England's wild camping rules are becoming a serious problem. Mornings are as cold as nights, but you must put the tent down by 7 a.m. I don't feel well rested. This trail is designed to stay in hostels or campsites. Everything is closed in most places I walk by. Where am I going to buy food for the coming days? This place is beautiful, but my feet are not trail feet. I cannot enjoy it. I have many blisters and lots of pain. I begin to realize I'm miserable. During the day it's hot and sunny, so plasters keep falling and more blisters appear. Thankfully someone gives me a plaster as all the shops are closed in Malam. What's wrong with my feet? Why can't they perform as usual? Despite the pain in my feet, I keep going and I keep filming. I'm determined. At this point, every step is very painful, especially down the hill. But I'm on a mission, I'm filming the Penang way. Freezing one more time while waiting for darkness to come. I want to pitch the tent, I need to rest. I had been here. Sorry England, it's not you but your welcoming rules. It's very cold. Leaving the warmth of the sleeping bag behind takes a lot of willpower. Oh my god. Oh. 
finally a bit of joy. I take it easy this morning. I'm away from people and houses. I left at 9 a.m. The day just started as bad as it ended yesterday when it comes to the blisters. Every single freaking step is killing my feet, man. Both of them today. So I got another blister on the other one. It's incredible, really. I had lunch at the Tang Hill Inn. I don't recommend it. At this stage, my days are just about the pain in my feet. They keep hurting like pounding up to three hours after calling it a day. Whenever I can, I call my wife to tell her I hate my life. Why don't you come back home, she says. <clears throat> You could hear the road, but I still love to this place. My wife knows me, so she knows why I don't wait. I enjoy every second of the break. My feet are pounding. I talk to them. Thank you for taking me here. Soon we'll be home. I'm at Middleton in Teesdale, where the pain and wages start, otherwise at Malin. 90% of the beauty starts from here onwards. This. The trail is like a desert, hot and sunny during the day, freezing below zero at night. I found here Haley's oasis, so to call it. Haley did my laundry, cooked me an omelette and let me sleep in her track. In the morning, my feet were still in great pain, but mentally I felt fully recovered. 
I started the day fresh. Thank you so much, Hayley. To me, the highlight of the trail, mesmerizing. Greg's hat was incredibly cold. I spent the rest of the day resting my feet and remembering the fantastic coffee a lovely couple had prepared for me at Dafton. Thank you, my dears.
Buenos días. I love these forest tracks, they're tough on your feet, but I really like them. Oh man, I'm tired, my feet are killing me. Oh my god. Mm. Last day on the trail. I have no doubts my feet will take me down to Kirk Jetholm despite the intense pain. I am proud, I feel strong, I feel thankful to those lovely people who helped me. What an ordeal the pain and way has been, and what an experience. When I'm old, I won't think about the comfortable house I had in London. I will think about the intense experiences I had in the wild.